button with Elna. We're on her training series of kettlebell tips. So tell me, Elna, what are we looking at today? The lockout. The lockout. Yeah. <laughs> How to improve your lockout. Over to you. Show me what amazingness you have for us. Uh, I'll start with the bands. The bands. Yeah. Okay, what are you going to do with the band? <laughs> Some exercise, the first <laughs> <Good>. one. <laughs> yes, first one. what's the first exercise? I call it the sword. The sword, show me how it goes. Ooh, nice, okay, so you're holding the band down one side with one hand. Yeah. And then pulling it up onto the other side, and this is activating all these muscles behind your shoulders, which is important for your lockout. Exactly. Very nice, I like it a lot. What else have you got for us? Around the world. Around the world. Big stretch. So this yeah. is going to be great for anyone that's got tightness across the front of their shoulders. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So when would you do this sort of exercise? Uh, before my kettlebell exercise. Okay. So this maybe? is going to activate all the muscles in your shoulders. Yeah. Ready for lifting. Exactly. Fantastic. What else have you got with the men's? The chest expander. Okay, chest yeah. expander. I like it. Uh, very nice. And once again, activating all the muscles in between the shoulder blades, which is creating that strength and that stability for your overhead position. Yeah. Perfect. I notice you've got two other bits of equipment in front of us. Yeah. Why don't you tell us what else you've got to help improve your lockout? I will use the stick. The stick. Do some overhead squats. Overhead squats. Yeah. I like it. I like it. So the, the your arms are in the same position as you would have your, your kettlebell for a lockout? Yeah, and over my head. Overhead yeah. position. Good. And squatting down, you get lots of activation between the middle of your shoulder blades and slightly lower, so middle trap activation. What if I wanted to make this harder? What if I've got good mobility already? I will have my hands, hands closer. Hands in, nice. So classically what goes wrong with this position is people's hands start to deviate forwards. So you have to make sure that your arms stay in the right position. Nice, nice. And you're going to feel lots of tension build up in your shoulder blades. Yeah. Good. There's a kettlebell. Yeah. Are we just going to do kettlebell training? <laughs> no? We're, we're, yeah, no, we're going to do some armbar. Armbar, I like it. Yeah. So, so, lie on the floor first. Uh -huh. And then, <clears throat> it's like a Turkish get up. Like a Turkish get up, okay. So, kettlebell up in the air in one hand, and you're rolling across. Right, so in this position, there's lots of stretch and lots of activation happening through your shoulder blade. I like that a lot. And how long would you hold that for? About five seconds or ten seconds? Yeah, yeah. I think that's enough. Perfect. And you could do <laughs> multiple reps, five or six reps on each yeah, side? Yeah, exactly. Good, good. All right, there are three really nice pieces of equipment to help improve your lockout and some great exercise to go with it. You guys can find out more at... Kettlebells.nu.